What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing update on SafeMoon token. And uh, let's start with the news. As you can see, we are on Google and our search term is a safe moon. And here you can see a bunch of news uh, two days ago, one week ago, three days ago, one day ago. And uh, all this news related to safe moon protocol. And basically, it is very good sign for the token because uh, more and more people are starting to pay attention with this protocol. And here you can see the official Twitter and uh, for now they have uh, more than 90,000 followers and each and every day they add from 5,000 to 10,000 followers and the speed of acquiring new followers is uh, mind-blowing. Of course you might say that there is a bunch of uh, new tokens uh, that are quite similar with the SafeMoon and uh, they potentially much more profitable because of uh, their stage. But in my opinion uh, it is still very interesting token because uh, we have a great price action and uh, this uh, price action is very technical and uh, it might be very useful for you as a potential uh, long-term holder of uh, this token or a trader, short-term trader. Uh, swing trader or even scalper because they are starting to implement new features and uh, this leads to new all-time highs for this coin and as you might know uh, here is uh, the news uh, from um, april the 6th and uh, it is uh, about bitmart listing sheldon xia founder and ceo of bitmart commented Safe Moon is a DeFi project uh, with a magnificent mission and roadmap. We are confident that uh, the Safe Moon model and protocol would be a great addition to Bitmart Exchange as well as the whole DeFi market. So, uh, the recent tweets uh, is about uh, 90,000 followers and uh, about uh, the new ticker of SFM. And here is the tweet that was published 8 hours ago. And it is about uh, purchasing the Safe Moon coin. And here is basically on their website uh, you have uh, the instructions and uh, with these instructions uh, you can easily uh, buy this uh, token and uh, on top of that uh, we have uh, even three videos for those of you who are visuals and uh, it is very short for about two minutes and you can buy uh, this uh, coin with the help of uh, this information easily. And uh, before we dive deep uh, into the technical analysis, please subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and uh, hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So, I made my previous video right here. And uh, yesterday my assumption was uh, that uh, we might have one more leg to the downside uh, because uh, we have uh, these key levels uh, of 0.786 and 0.5 as our uh, major supports. And uh, as you might see, we have uh, this uh, reaction from 0.65 level and uh, it is 100% uh, expected. But uh, in my opinion, we still can have one more leg to the downside. And uh, let me show you two possibilities. First of all, uh, we might have our fourth wave right here. And as long as the top of the fourth wave doesn't uh, overlap the, the first wave, we are 100% legit and uh, as soon as we will cross uh, this line this count will be eliminated until then uh, we have uh, about 30% uh, possibility to hit uh, 0.786 level and the second uh, most probable outcome for now that uh, our uh, main count should be right here here is our first wave here is the retracement here is the third one, right here retracement on the fourth and uh, here is the entire wave and uh, it is 100% completed and we doesn't violate the rule that uh, third wave should, be, should not be the shortest among three other impulsive waves. And uh, basically you can see that the uh, first wave is this very short wave and uh, this outcome is 100% legit. But the only concern that uh, in a B wave right here, this price action should be in a shape of zigzag. But for now, I don't want to dig uh, so deep in this uh, wave because it is still possible that we might have uh, even failed waves this means uh, that entire structure might be completely wrong and we might have absolutely new uh, pattern uh, 
uh, with a huge volume uh, that might be entered uh, in nearest future. So, uh, but for now we still in play and we have uh, this possibility. Uh, as you can see, we hover in the middle of 0 0.5 and 0 0.65 levels. Let me show it to you. And uh, on a greater scale, let me show you that we have this uh, pattern. Before March 24th, we have completed our first wave. And here you can see first wave, second, third, fourth and five. And uh, these five waves implies uh, one wave uh, on a greater scale. Then we had this retracement. On March the 30th, we started a new impulsive wave uh, to the upside. Then we have we had uh, this formation as a triangle, and it is a symmetrical triangle. It might break either way, and uh, as you can see, it broke to the downside. And uh, now we have uh, this formation, and for now, as you can see, we hover in the middle of uh, 0.5 and 0.65 levels. So. Let me project new targets according to this data, because uh, our previous uh, assumption was uh, with this uh, as our lowest level of uh, retracement. And to project some targets, I pulled the Fibonacci extension tool from this bottom. Let me show it to you. From this bottom, from the bottom of entire structure to this top. And our lowest point for now is right here. And uh, let me show you projected targets. We don't need this anymore because we have new ones and for the fifth wave we have a first target of one to one extension and it is at this price point two zero three seven six seven next one might be at 1.618 extension and it is on two eight nine three four six level and the most aggressive target might be at 2.618 extension level level with a price point of 427823 and let me show you potential profits percentage wise from this point as a potential entry point to our first target we might have roughly 150 percent to our second target we might have 250 percent and to our third target we might have uh, more than 400 percent and basically before you decide to buy this coin or decide to enter your position or just invest in this company remember three simple rules first of all do not put the money that you are not willing to lose because uh, this asset is a high risk high reward asset and uh, you might lose all of your money second one do not go all in this means uh, you have to always uh, ladder your buys down and this will give you more attractive uh, potential price for the future gains and third one do not put stop loss close to your entry price and uh, this is also because of the volatility because you have to be in play rather to be kicked out from the trade and basically that's it for now if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell see you guys and girls next time bye